In this section, we're going to go ahead and review affinity filters. And as we remember from the beginning of this course, affinity filters are filters that tell the scheduler to start the container on a node that has a, con a similar container or the same container already running, or alternatively, has the image pulled for that container already. So I've gone ahead and cleaned up the cluster again, and we're back to just having the default or two containers on each node. And as you can see here, we're still running spread. And in fact, we're gonna be running spread for the rest of this course. All right, let's fire up another Nginx container. We're gonna go ahead and call it C1 for container one. And as it's waiting here, you, it's pulling the image to whatever node got selected. Okay, let's see where it went. We'll do Docker PS and it's on node one. Well, let's run that again, but this time we're gonna add minus E and change the container to container two. And that's because affinity filters get passed over as environmental variables. And then we're gonna go affinity container equals C1. And this tells Swarm to, to go run this new container C2 on a node that already has container C1. All right, now we're gonna run it and you can see how much faster that was. So signs are good that it, so go ahead and do a Docker PS again. And yep, there you go. You can see that it's still on node one or C2 and C1 are on node one. And that's in defiance of our spread policy, or it's really overriding it, right? But we can actually do negative affinities too. And in this one, we're gonna tweak it to not be on the same node as a C1. And you can give it a unique name here. Okay, it's taking a bit longer, obviously, because it has to pull the image down to node one now. And let's do, let's see where that went to, Docker PS. And this time you can see that it's away from C1 and C1 being on node one and C3 being on node three. All right, now let's try this out. Let's run a few of them, but let's remove the name first. There we go. And you can see how things are being spread across the two nodes that are not hosting C1. So what we see there is affinity filters and the spread strategy working together. Sometimes they override or filter out the node C1's on, but then it's using spread over the remaining two nodes. So what if we say schedule a new 100 and it fails? Reason why you can't do that? Because Swarm follows a strict enforcement rule that states you're specifying an affinity filter and I can't meet that requirement, then I'm not gonna go ahead and schedule it at all. And that's super important to know. So what happens if you just want Swarm to make the best effort to do that, but if it can't do it, then to schedule it. So we're gonna go ahead and bring back that command that we saw previously. And now you can just throw the tilde in. Go ahead and run that. Yep, and there it works. So it couldn't match the request that we put in for the affinity filter, but it went ahead and scheduled it anyways. And that wraps up affinity filters. Next up, constraints.